The massive operation is taking place this week here on the Metro. For the first time, Jackson County is doing a sweep to see if registered sex offenders are following the law. 41 Action News reporter Andres Gutierrez went with one of the teams to give us an inside look. Jackson County has 2,200 registered sex offenders, more than any other county in Missouri. Each of these dots represent where they work, live, and in some cases go to school. The mission for law enforcement this week to make sure that none of these offenders are flying under the radar. Deputy Ryan Painter is part of an elite squad at the Jackson County Sheriff's Office. He takes criminals off the street each day. We get a, a packet like this with individuals with actually warrants for their arrest. And myself and a, another group of individuals will go attempt to arrest them. Now working with local and federal law enforcement, he's tracking down registered sex offenders. We're doing today is we're doing a sex offender sweep. What we're doing is we're going to contact everybody, make sure all their information is correct. This is one of 17 teams across Jackson County working to verify that sex offenders aren't breaking the law. Does any information change besides your driver's license and your prison? In Missouri, sex offenders are required to register every three months or twice a year, depending on their conviction. That registration has to have the latest information on where they live and work, what they drive, and which electronic devices they own. If any of the individuals have any new information that they don't have between registrations, what they're going to do is they're going to get three business days to provide the, the new current information. If they do not provide that within the, that three business days, a warrant will be issued for their arrest. The sweep this week is happening because of a federal grant through the U.S. Marshal's Office. On this day, this team goes after 21 sex offenders in Raytown. Among them, Robert Otis, who has several warrants for his arrest, including one out of Virginia. His listed address is abandoned. The last time he registered was in March 2005. We're going to find him, just not today. In total on this day, two offenders are non-compliant. They end up getting a warning, but it isn't over yet. It's definitely an eye-opener of how many people are actually out there. Kind of lets me know, like, this is for real, uh, this kind of stuff. There's definitely problems out there that need to be adjusted and how much information that needs to be found and obtained. And tonight at 6, we'll look at the problem that prompted this sweep. Andres Gutierrez, 41 Action News.